Hello everybody, this is Lee, and I'm just doing a little report that I came up with. Uh, today is August 18th, and it is the day after the Green Town Hall on CNN. And so I said, what an exciting media opportunity. Uh, surely that'll provoke um, a lot of intrigue and curiosity and fascination with the Green Party by mainstream media. And so I decided to check. <laughs> um, I checked online. I went to MSNBC. And what did I find? But zero articles about Jill Stein or Ajimu Baraka or the Green Party on the homepage. I found a lot of news about um, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, some things about Bernie Sanders, some things about the flooding, things like that, general news. Um, shutting down of private prisons, um, something on the Brazilian, you know, foot, uh, swimmers, uh, things that other people were reporting, basically. So I said, well, you know, it was a CNN town hall. Let me go to CNN's website and see what the news the day after the town hall is on Jill Stein, the Green Party, or Ajimu Baraka on the homepage. <laughs> All right, then. So I said, how about I go to ABC News and see what the skinny is on the Green Party, Jill Steiner, Ajimu uh, Baraka, uh, Baraka. Nope. <laughs> New York Times. Nope. How about Wall Street Journal? Not a single mention. Washington Post? Zero. So I got concerned about that. I said, you know, some of these uh, newspaper outlets, they're doing the polling for the debate. But they don't have any articles or any um, items of informational interest about Jill Stein or the Green Party or Ajimu Baraka anywhere on their homepage. There's lots of news stories about Hillary Clinton and or Donald Trump. Some news stories about Bernie Sanders. Um, let's see, some news about the weather um, occurrences um, in the flooding in Louisiana, some crime and punishment, law and order type of thing, but not one mention of Jill Stein, the Green Party, or Ajimu Baraka. And CBS, New York Times, they're doing the polling for the debate, Fox News, CNN, NBC, Wall Street Journal, and ABC, Washington Post, they're doing the polling for the debate. Not one mention, even the day after Jill Stein's town hall, um, nothing, no updates on the Green Party. And so, you know, if they're contacting their readers or the people that take the polls from their outlets, like, who do you want to vote for or who do you want to uh, win? And they're asking their readers and all you see on their homepage is Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, what's the polling going to look like? Um, there's no equal time from my view of what's occurring on their home pages in terms of equal time given to all four presidential candidates. It's very skewed towards Hillary Clinton and or Donald Trump on those major uh, news outlets. And so I said, well, you know, uh, Jill Stein is a progressive. She's left of center. Maybe I'll look at these progressive, relatively liberal um news outlets and see what's the skinny there. So I went to Mother Jones just to see if there were any stories about Jill Stein, Ajimu Baraka, or the Green Party. Zero on the homepage. I went to The Nation. Zero on the homepage. I went to Salon. Zero on the homepage. I went to Huffington Post. Zero on the home page. I went to Common Dreams. There were looks like two stories on Jill Stein and or the Green Party and Ama Ajimu Baraka. Two stories on Common Dreams. I went to Daily Cough. Zero. I went to Counterpunch and I saw several stories on Jill Stein, Ajimu Baraka and or the Green Party. Um, in fact, there was a radio interview um, at the top of the homepage of Counterpunch on Ajimu Baraka. 
So that was pretty interesting. And then I went to Intercept. There is zero. And I went to a website called RT.com. And there was zero. So I found that pretty interesting. I mean, there's maybe some news outlets that I didn't think of to check. But these are some of the major ones and definitely some that are considered progressive. And since there's one pro progressive uh, presidential candidate left in the race, you would think that a progressive news outlet would cover that candidate or even a liberal news outlet would cover that candidate or at least provide equal time to the other candidates in the race. And that's not what I saw. Um, I did not delve past the homepage, um, but I just kind of glanced to see all the stories that were directly linked to the homepage. And the majority of them were about Hillary Clinton and or Donald Trump. Um, the next frequency was Bernie Sanders. And then the only two sites that had anything about Jill Stein, Ajimu Baraka, and or the Green Party was Counterpunch, Counterpunch and then Common Dream. And so um, I said, well, CNN, I mean, C-SPAN is usually pretty good. It's a really good um, public affairs outlet. And I did a search on Jill Stein. And sure enough, I found many um, news stories. They weren't on the home page. But I did a search, and there were a lot of stories from her convention. Um, C-SPAN went out of its way to give coverage to Jill Stein. Um, during the uh, convention, lots of stories dated August 8th, and Jill Stein was actually featured on a show. Um, she uh, had an interview on there, and then there were callers that called into the show to talk about the Green Party, and then there was coverage of the Green Convention, and that was August 8th. And so that was about um, 10 days ago, and I haven't really seen much since then. So... You know, I wonder about the coverage, um, you know, public affairs, um, political issues, current issues, uh, a presidential candidate in the race. And, you know, this is what I found. And so there's um, questions um, about uh, the polling. Jill Stein gets often asked, like, well, your polling kind of low. You know, why do you think that is? What do you think it's going to take to change that? And this was even Yahoo News. Um, there was someone on Washington Journal, uh, someone who came from Washington, from Yahoo News to Washington, um, well, to C-SPAN, to talk to Jill Stein and ask her, like, well, what about your polling? I mean, how are you going to get in the debate? And then I said, well, you know what? I'm going to look at Yahoo News to see if they have any stories about Jill Stein. No. <laughs> So this is the just weirdness that you see with our mainstream media and then also with our, our alternate our alternative media. They are not covering Jill Stein um, equally to the other presidential candidates. They are not giving her equal access to an audience, uh, to media um, real estate. She is being surrounded by a wall of silence. Um, not even negative coverage necessarily, even though the anti-vaxxer took up some space uh, a couple of days ago. But mostly it's just a wall of silence around her. Even though she's had events, she's um, been in the public eye, she's had, um, you know, uh, interactions with um, the public, um, talking about the Green Party. And there's just this wall of silence around her. And then people are saying, well, you're polling kind of low, you know, and, you know, you have to get to 15 percent. What are you going to do? And so it's kind of strange the way the mainstream media is just playing this weird little game, not only with the Green Party and Jill Stein and Ajimi Baraka, but then with the um, audience as well, us, the citizens who look to these outlets to inform us of current events to make sure that we're fully informed of the world around us and they're failing. They're refusing to, to provide coverage. I'm sure they know Jill Stein's number and how to get in touch with her um, and to cover green events as they occur. Uh, and, it, and I think at least it should be the case that they get uh, equal coverage. 
Um, and then once they're treated equally and then given equal access to the media, how about then measure their polling and see if their um, polling measures up. But right now it's uh, very much an unequal playing field. Um, it's not equal access. There's a lot of discrimination by our mainstream media, by our alternative media that considers itself progressive and um, a refusal to actually um, do what the media is supposed to do and inform the public. And, you know, that that game is kind of uh, a disservice to us all, not just the candidates themselves, but us, the public. We deserve much better, I believe.